I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to create a custom website design in this mini tutorial, so I hope you enjoy. Hey everyone, my name is Megan and I am a brand and web designer. I've been designing for the past eight years, going on nine years, and I've learned so much about everything, especially when it comes to the client process and your internal process to make sure that the designs you're creating, number one, get approved by your clients, and number two, that they look good and they work efficiently. So in this video, I want to take a deep dive into how to create a website design. I want to break it down to the basics and give you guys my process when it comes to my client websites, as well as my own website and the steps I take to make it look really, really nice. And like I said, work efficiently. Now you guys have heard me talk about this many times before, but there's so many website platforms out there nowadays. We have WordPress, Squarespace, Wix Studio, Show It, Framer, Webflow, I could go on and on of all the different web platforms and I know it can feel a bit overwhelming on which platform to go with and that is why I actually created a comparison sheet inside of my Patreon to give you an idea of what website platform is good for which clients and projects and to kind of help you make that decision because I know it can be overwhelming. In this video specifically, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to complete and develop the website using Wix Studio. Wix Studio is very different than Wix, and this is something that I feel like I haven't been super clear about before, but Wix Studio is the newer, more advanced platform on Wix that allows for drag and drop and sections and CMS and so many amazing features that a lot of these other web platforms are offering, but Wix Studio offers it all in one. So if you love the look of like Webflow and Framer websites that have that really fun scroll effect, then I think you're really gonna love Wix Studio as well. All right, now I don't wanna waste too much of your time, so I have timestamps down below that you can skip ahead to, but let's talk about step one in a custom website design. Once you have the questionnaire from your client and you know the overall direction of the branding, it is time to create the mock-up of your website. I personally like to design a mock-up and a wireframe before I go and develop it and build it out on whatever platform because it just allows us to see the website in a different perspective and to look at the flow of the website the call to actions in each, each section, and also allows us to edit things before developing, which is much smoother and much faster because if you had to go in there and change the colors of the entire website over and over again, instead of just doing it once and improving it and then developing it, trust me, it just saves you so much time and it saves you from a headache. So this is an example of a mock-up I created on Figma. Figma is my favorite platform for creating those wireframes and I'm sure you guys have heard it before, but there's high fidelity wireframes and low fidelity wireframes. Low fidelity, I'll add a picture right here, is a very, very simple wireframe that just allows you to see which sections are gonna be what and the content you're gonna need for the website, the photos you're gonna need for the website. So if you wanted to provide your clients a low fidelity wireframe for them to go and get the content, then that's a really great way to do it. I personally like to create a high fidelity wireframe because like I said, I like to see the styles and the colors and the fonts all set up for us so that once that's approved, I can go and develop and it won't waste my time. So this is an example of the Figma design that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today. I actually have been starting to use interactions on a Figma as well to make it look like how the full functional website's going to be. So when you hover over the buttons, the color changes, there's lots of different hover effects and even you can create interactions to click to other pages so you can really build out the navigation in Figma and pretty much have the website ready to go and looking exactly how it will once it's built. And this is what I typically send over to my clients. I give them a full walkthrough video. Sometimes I get on a call with them to walk through it, but this will give them a, a way to drop comments on the design so that I'm able to just go implement the feedback and start creating the finalized website. So once this is approved and I actually make sure my clients sign it off and approve it, that is when I go develop it. And the reason I have them sign off on that is because I don't wanna to have to go back to the drawing board once the website is built. I wanna make sure that we are good to go. And once I get to development mode, I'm able to just kind of lock into that and not keep going back and forth with my client. I did want to mention though, that if you don't really like that approach of creating a custom design on Figma, then you could look at the Wix Studio templates, even a basic template to start with, or even using their AI tools to give you some help on like creating a wireframe. 
if that's a, a route you want to take, I know Wix Studio has some great options for that. So yeah, if you wanted to create a portfolio, a blog, or a business informational website, then Wix Studio does have a template for it. But I typically like to price my website packages around the fact that it is custom and not cookie cutter. So it's going to look really unique to their business. Okay, so here is where the fun begins because I have the Figma design approved. So we can either do two things. One is using the plugin in the app inside of Wix Studio to automatically bring this over. And in my experience, Wix Studio has one of the best plugins for transferring this over and actually being pretty accurate. I've used it before on Framer and other things, and there is a lot of like manual edits you kind of have to fix and do, but it will bring it over for you in its full design and create the sections for you. So I would try your best to make sure that your Figma design is as clean as it can be and as accurate as it can be, because once we hit that button to transfer it over to Wix Studio, that's how it's going to create those sections for us. So I wanna take that route with you all because I think it's such a great tool to save you time and also to kind of give you a head start on the development. Okay, so I just am transferring it over now. And once it's in there, we'll see those different sections and we'll probably most likely see where we can improve it. And also we will have to work on the mobile and the tablet side to make it responsive. Now for the purpose of this video and timing, I'm going to be mainly showing you guys just the homepage so we can kind of work on that and really get it perfect. But if you were to create new pages, it's super easy to do. You can just use that plugin for each page that we're transferring over. Or if you want to avoid the plugin completely and you want to make sure that your site is developed really cleanly, then Wix Studio makes it easy because it's literally a drag and drop builder. If you've ever used Show It or even Webflow or Framer or even Divi with WordPress, it's going to feel very similar to that where you're able to create custom sections. Okay, so I'm actually really happy with how it looks from transferring it over. So I'm just going to go through, make a little bit of changes, and I'm also going to add some animation and movement to the website, uh, which is something that is a little bit harder to show through Figma. So that is one thing that I allow my clients to kind of play around with once I send this over. Um, as long as there's no major design changes after the website's developed, that's okay with me. So I'm just going to play around with the website, add a few little elements here and there, and I'll show you guys what it's looking like after that. Okay guys, this is looking so good. I'm so excited about it. So as you can see, it's very beginner friendly. If you don't know how to develop a website, you guys will definitely get the hang of it. It is very, very um, simple to use. So I've been really enjoying Wix Studio and adding in these elements and animations also is very, very simple. So here's how it's looking. I am pretty happy with it. And for this client in particular, I think this will work really well because she does have a blog website. So we're able to add those CMS items and really build out her blog once we get to that point. But I am happy with this. So once you're happy, you can click publish on Wix Studio and it'll give you a free domain that looks like your business name. However, if you're ready to connect your client's domain to your Wix Studio website, it's pretty easy to do. You can just connect it right here in the dashboard and it does require a paid plan, but I really like how you're able to use that kind of temporary domain to just view the website and make sure everything's looking good before it goes live. So when it comes to me finalizing the development, I do send this over to my clients. I let them look through it and I share with them how it's looking on mobile, tablet, and I make sure it's responsive across everything. But once it's done and my client gives me the go ahead, I am ready to click publish, connect the domain, and it's as simple as that. It's very, very nice to be able to build a website without having to know how to code because I know that can be quite a learning curve. However, I do know coding is a nice thing to learn and know a little bit about so you know how websites work because once you know how websites work on the back end, I personally feel that'll make you a much better web designer because you're able to really understand the language of websites. However, this is such a great option for those of you who like more of that visual building experience. And also it gives your clients a opportunity to edit their website on their own without knowing how to, needing to know how to code. And also it just makes it much easier for them to manage on their own instead of constantly having to ask you to add new pages. So I think it's such a great option, but I hope that this video was helpful and that it gave you some insight into my process with website design. I know that was a really quick summary of it. If you guys want more in-depth tutorials and to see an actual client web design process, head over to my Figma. I have tons of tutorials in there. I post a new one every single week. 
and I answer, I'm there to answer any questions. I'm also here to answer questions, but if you want more in-depth tutorials and a view into my process, Patreon is definitely something you should check out. But if this video helped you out, I would appreciate it so much if you gave it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel down below, be sure to check out Wix Studio if this video interested you, or maybe it gave you some insight into like, what is Wix Studio versus Wix and what's the difference? I hope that this video helped you out. But let me know if you did, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, evening, whenever you're watching this, and I will see you in my next video.